be good. So this is how true Southern women make biscuits. So you'll need a couple cups of buttermilk, some Crisco. Now you can have butter or regular. I'm actually gonna use a little bit of both. It's not gonna hurt, that way I can show you. And self-rising flour. <coughs> so let me take off my rings. And what you wanna do is make a well in the middle and you wanna leave the bottom. I'm gonna basically dump the ingredients in the middle and I'm only gonna pull from the side. So you wanna make, okay. So you're gonna make a well. Like I said, you wanna leave some at the bottom. So you just, you can leave as, you know, you want at least a couple inches always on the bottom. So if you have to add more flour to your thing, that's fine. But basically I'll just keep using this flour to make biscuits and add to it as it sells out. Now, you can use any pan, but I can promise you nothing will be as good as this gr cast iron griddle. And I've just taken a little bit of Crisco and lined it. So, what we want to do, let me get my find a biscuit cutter first. That'll work. I actually had a biscuit can for years and years and years and years and I don't know what happened to it. I just moved and we can't find it. Normally it sits in my flower, but it somehow didn't make it to the new house. So I'm sure we'll come up on it. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me get, we're gonna make a well, like I said, and then we're gonna dump a couple cups. I don't wanna dump it all at once because it, you want it to sit on the top. And this is buttermilk. Whoa. All right, now, like I said, we're gonna use both kinds. You basically want two eggs. When people say how much, I would think it was a half of a cup total, but the size of two eggs. So this is, let's get, probably get a little bit more. This is one egg, let it go. And I'm gonna use half butter. I've used all Crisco, I've used half and half. I've used all, um, you can use most shortening, but I, I find a little bit of the butter and regular actually works the best. All right, let's get this out of the way. And then what we're gonna do, something in. Oh, I used it to, the Crisco to oil my pan and it was a little piece of cast iron in there. So what you wanna do is you basically are trying to break up the Crisco. At the same time, you're sort of grabbing a little bit of the flour and mixing in as well. And this is gonna get messy, just accept it, but we'll rinse our hands. So I'm just scraping the sides. If I got more on this side, I'll scrape a little bit more, but I'm really trying to stay off the bottom. And this will still be somewhat sticky when we get done. All right, we're getting there. Once you, once. I'm just squeezing through. Once you start getting like thicker consistency, just wanna slowly bring in A little bit of flour at a time. And it just depends if, I mean, it's, it's kind of rainy outside today, so this is gonna take a little more flour than maybe I took yesterday. I just don't want it sopping wet. All right, we're, we're there. 
just when it starts to come together. And like basically when I start adding more flour, it wants to fall apart. That's where we stop at. So what we're gonna do, just give it a few more mixes and then I'm gonna scrape off my fingers. I'm gonna wash my hands, but before I do that, I just wanna make sure we're good. So let's see. I should be able to lift it out of here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let me get all this yummy goodness off my fingers and then I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Now I have been preheating my oven to 500 degrees. Now you don't wanna do these low and slow. You want them to be fast. So I'm gonna make sure my hands are really dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of flour and then I'm also gonna put some on the counter. Let's see if I can move you guys out the way. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make sure I got plenty of flour on the counter. And then I'm going to pick this mixture up. It's okay if it sort of falls apart. I just wanna make sure I don't leave any in my flour. All right. So as you can see, there's none left in my flour bowl. And that'll be good for the next time. Now, you don't wanna work this a lot because that's what makes them be so good. But you can do it a couple times to sort of make it stick together because I don't, um, do mine a lot right now because most people only roll once, but I will roll at least twice. Occasionally, I will roll a third time. All right, so I'm gonna do one more flip. Make sure we have flour down. And then we're gonna push down to about, I'ma say three-fourths of an inch or so. You know, some people like half an inch. I like mine a little bit thicker. All right, if you got a biscuit cutter, now's the time to use it, but us Cajun women will use anything. But I like the size of this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, Every time I cut, I'm gonna dip it in the flour. So I'm gonna dip it, I'm gonna push down, turn, and twist. And that's about how thick they are. Then I'm gonna put them on my skillet, dip it in my flour, push down, and twist. Obviously, if you got a smaller cutter, you'll get a few more. But it's just us tonight, so. Get them off of here. All right, like I said, because I don't uh, roll it so much, I'm not gonna try to mix all this flour in. What I'm gonna try to do is just sort of 
put it back together. Now you can make fried pies. A lot of people in the South will make fried pies with this part of the dough. I'm just not trying to make fried pies today. All right, let's see, I got a scraper. So I'm just gonna make sure I have more flour down. I'll show you guys my biscuits. For some reason, I always have one extra, but I managed to make it fit. All right. And like I said, I'm going to stick them in the oven for about eight minutes I want to say but basically just tell the tops get a little golden brown 